Guess what time it is? It's time for Little Fish Dragon Reviews. Welcome back, dragon fans. Little Fish here, bringing you my first ever Dragon's Toy Review. New for 2015, Spin Master has released the Dragon Riders. Presently, there are five sets out, but I'll be bringing you three of the sets for today. Astrid and Stormfly, Snotloud and Hookfang, as well as Hiccup and Toothless. I'm very excited to show these off, but first I think I will show you the packages. We will begin with Astrid and Stormfly. Stormfly is nicely packaged in there, as well as Astrid in a little bubble case with her axe. And then there's also a little piece in the back that is part of Stormfly's tail. This is the little picture on the front, as well as what it says on the packaging, for four years and older. On the bottom of the package, it shows what the dragon does, and it appears that there's a small button uh, possibly on the bottom of the dragon that projects her tail. Let's see what else. We have the dragon sign, as well as a very colorful picture on the back. And I find something a little strange with this picture of Astrid. Not really sure what it is. I think it might have something to do with her eyes. It seems that somebody might have gone in afterwards to correct it and might have had a little bit of a shaky hand. But that doesn't matter, it's still a great picture. Another side picture. And that is Astrid and Stormfly. Next up we have Snotlout and Hookfang. Hookfang is just loosely packaged with a piece of string attaching him to the packaging. They have a fiery projectile in the back and a little bubble pack, as well as Snotlout and his hammer. Now there's something I just need to bring up in, in the case of uh, Hookfang. When I was in the store, I saw a lot of Hookfangs with very loose top jaws. You can kind of see that this one's a little loose, but it's not as bad as a lot of the ones I've seen. They were either off to the side or just didn't look quite right. So make sure while you're in the store and you're looking at Hookfang that his head's on right. The wording, also four years and older. A picture on the front. Picture on the side. And another little thing I'm noticing is that it seems that Hookfang's eyes are brown, or coated in brown in this. Yeah, there's a little bit of brown, but not quite as much as it seemed on the back. I think I like the toy much better. And also the bottom picture for the Hookfang toy. You just load the projectile in, shoot it out like flames. And lastly, we have Hiccup and Toothless. There are two different versions of Toothless and Hiccup. There is the Dragon Racing Stripe Toothless, like this one, with Hiccup and his wingsuit. And then there's also a regular, not Racing Stripe Toothless, with just regular Hiccup without the wingsuit. So we have Toothless with the stripes, and Hiccup, his flame sword, and the wingsuit in the bubble pack words and the picture also four years and older sure and dragon riding on the back and we also have on the bottom what the toothless does his jaw opens and his wings will flap. And another little odd thing is the painting job. It seems that both of Toothless's tail fins are red, instead of one being black and the other one being red. Not sure why they decided that, but that's okay. 
So now let's get to it, Dragon fans. I'll be back in a moment with all the figures out of the packages. Alright, Dragon Riders, I just got Hiccup and Toothless and his Flame Sword out of the package, and I have to admit that I am a little bit disappointed. Toothless is fine. He's pretty cool. Everything seems about right, aside from the uh, black tail fin. But I will uh, play with him a little bit more, see if everything is working. But with Hiccup, the moment I pulled him out of the package, all you could smell was fresh paint. It's pretty gross. Also, I noticed, not sure if you'll be able to see this, he's got glue coming out of his hand. But that's very minor. But with the flame sword, barely had to just even bend it a little bit. Let's see if you can see. Come on, focus. There are cracks. It looks whole, but there are cracks in the paint. Let's see if you can see the ones on this side. And it just goes all the way up the sword. I'm, like, afraid to touch it because I think the paint's going to fall right off of it. I'm going to try getting the rest of them out of the packages, and hopefully they're a lot better. Alright, so we have all of the dragons and their riders out of the packaging, and I have to admit, as much as I love the sculpts on these, I'm a little underwhelmed. Aside from the uh, issue I had with Hiccup, I'm finding a few other issues with the rest of them. I kind of had the same issues with Astrid, in that she smells heavily of wet paint. Uh, this is her sculpt. It's a very nice sculpt, though, I have to say. Uh, she only moves at the waist, though there is some resistance. It feels like her head should move, but I guess her hair's in the way, so she can't. Let's see if we can get a clearer picture. She's got holes in the bottom of her feet, so you can um, put her on her dragon. I guess she could ride any of the dragons, actually. And from the back. little blemish on her head. See that? But that's not very important. Astrid comes with her axe and like Hiccup's fire sword, it has a few paint issues. You can see that the silver paint has bled through and when you try to put it in her hand, it's very hard to see them but there are cracks that go straight through to the silver underneath see if we can get any of them to show up. Because the axe handle is so small, it doesn't show up quite as well, but they are noticeable. And unfortunately, it was really bent up in the package, so it doesn't sit straight. Otherwise, the axe is pretty nice. And then we have Stormfly. I do like Stormfly. I like the sculpt. She's a bit um, head heavy, but that's okay. Uh, another thing I noticed was that on her wings, this is probably just with mine, but there were black smudges all over them, but I was easily able to clean those off. Now with Stormfly, she's got her painted on saddle. I have no idea what this is for. I'm kind of assuming that it might be to hold on to Astrid's axe, but her axe seems a little too large for it. So maybe if you put them underneath her wings and clip them in, but even then, I would be a little afraid to clip it in because it might take the paint off the axe handle. And then we have the little button that has the tail. And I will just shoot it off towards the wall. One, two, and three. Oh, went on the floor. So the tail piece comes apart from the rest of her tail. And it fits in like a puzzle piece. We have that little groove right there. You put it in, and just line it up, and it sticks in, Oop, not that solid. It's solid, but it can easily pull out. So this is Stormfly. Her legs do move, but you can't really put her in any other position beside this one because if you were to move this way, she'd just fall over. Her legs are a little uneven because one's bent and one's outstretched. 
but she's still really cool. Also forgot to mention that Astrid's arms do move and that you could put the axe in her hands. Just gotta kind of squeeze it in there or try to squeeze it in there. It doesn't stay all that well. Let's try with this hand. So she's got a bit of a uh, axe motion there. So we'll put those aside and move on to Snotlout and Hookfang. Snotlout comes with his hammer. It looks a bit like two acorns put together, but it's still pretty detailed. A little bit of paint blobbing in the corner over here. Yeah, not focusing very well. Well, that's okay. We have Snotlout. Let's see. Snotlout and all his detail. Let's see. His arms do move. His head, not so much. And he does move at the waist. Pretty smooth. Pretty sure if I tried to force it, his head might move, but I'm not going to try that. He also has the holes in his feet to sit on his dragon. And him from the back. And now, let's see if we can put him on his dragon. And they basically kind of sit standing up on their dragons. A little rough to get them in their seats, but there we go. Try to get them to stay in there. Now we have Hook Fang. And like I said before, his head is very loose. It doesn't take much pressure at all to get his face to move. And what I was talking about in the packages is that you can move his the top of his jaw side to side which isn't very good, especially when this is the mechanism that causes the little fireball to spit out. It's very, very sensitive. So even the lightest little touch will send it flying, because I did that a few times while I was testing it out. Let's see. You can move his wings. I forgot to mention you can do that with Stormfly as well. Just roughly move the wings. Ooh, that wing's a lot looser than this wing. His tail doesn't really move much, but it's still a very nice sculpt. And like Stormfly, his legs do move, but he can't really go in too many positions where he might stand up, because he'll just fall over. Let's see. And I will try out the uh, torpedo shooter. Just put that in there. You don't even have to force it all the way. It sticks out pretty much, and just very light tap. And it is gone. Didn't even have to move it too much, and it just shoots right out. So I got that back. Try to get him to stand up again. And again, you don't have to apply too much pressure. You just kind of pop it in real quick. And get Stormfly and Astrid out of the way. And just, actually, I'll show you with Snotlout off of that. Just very light touch and it's gone so if you have little kids playing with this just make sure they don't direct it towards each other's faces because it doesn't take much to get that little fireball to shoot out also to add that snotlout can hold his hammer it slid very easily into his hand makes him a little top heavy so that he falls over but if you adjust his waist a little bit he stands up again last but not least we have toothless and hiccup i already went over uh my little issues with Hiccup, but I'll show his sculpt better. I do like the sculpt. I wish he smelled better, of course, and that he didn't have the bits of paint in him, but otherwise, he is very well done. He does not move at the waist, but his head does move, and his mask does not come off. His hands do move. So you could put the uh, flame sword in there, but I'm not going to try that because the paint is really chipping on it. Turn him around. His armor, very detailed. And there we 
Hello, Snotlout. Help him out, Hookfang. And here we have Toothless. His mouth opens. Not sure if it's supposed to be controlled by the mechanism in his foot. I'm not really sure why his mouth was, would open if it doesn't really do much beyond that. But it's still a nice feature. You might be able to put uh, Hiccup's Flame Sword in his mouth or Astrid's axe. Or you could just kind of make him talk. Row, 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 row. And we have his racing stripes. And all the dragons have translucent wings, which is a nice touch. His saddle. And his tail. And then you have his leg, front leg moves. His front leg moves. Leg on the side moves a little bit, but you don't want to force it too much. You can kind of do a little high five there. Back leg does not move. And this leg does move. You move it in. Just press, press. And his wings flap. On the box, it kind of makes it look like his wings should flap and his mouth should open. But I'm pretty sure you have to use the mouth with your hand. And there's a little bit of a chip there, but that's okay. So that is Toothless. One last look at the dragons and their riders. Uh, Snotlout fits on Hookfang very nicely. He's standing up a bit in the seat, but not too bad. He's ready for action. Astrid was a little bit harder to get in her seat. She actually doesn't sit on the saddle. She sits all the way, all the way pushed up on Stormfly's neck. But she does sit. She's ready for some action as well. Hiccup, however, does not fit on Toothless's back. He's a little too big here. As you can see, he's just fallen right off. His legs don't go around Toothless's neck. So let's just say he's gonna be flying along with Toothless instead of on Toothless. So these are the first three of the Dragon Rider sets done by Spin Masters for 2015. I do have to admit that I have reservations on opening up the next pack I have, which features Toothless, Hiccup, and a Nameless Armored Dragon. I will review that, but I'll think about actually taking them out of the package. I have to commend the people who did the molds on these because they are so detailed that just as figures alone, they're great collector's items. As toys, parents might want to be a little wary on the small pieces, and hopefully nobody else is having the same paint issue that I am having. Tell me in the comments below what you think of all these, which one's your favorite? Has anybody else had the same problems that I have? Make sure to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Tumblr and Instagram. I'll put those links below. And until next time, Dragon Riders,